Hello everybody, my name is Goodboy and welcome to the Dota 2 Item Guides. This is where we look at particular item builds which helps best maximize the hero you're playing. So Legion Commander likes good old regen, so healing salve and tangos and a stout shield to resist damage because she's a melee close combat hero. But the mana boost is really really helpful for helping her spam off, uh, press the attack and overwhelming odds. If you're jungling, you might want to skip the mana items and go for a Quelling Blade and Ring of Protection. Depending on how helpful your team is, they may pool tangos with you. If so, you can enjoy getting a Quelling Blade and also a Stout Shield, which will really help your farm in the early game. So do bear that in mind if you've got great team members. The early game item, pretty much always, is going to be Power Tread. Synergizes extremely well with Legion Commander's abilities and just in general, those you know, stat swapping is very helpful. If you're ahead, a Drum of Endurance will work, but if you're not, then you want a Talon or a Bottle to, uh, you know, keep yourself alive and jungle a bit more. Um, generally, the rule is, once you've got your treads, you're, you're smitten for early game items, and then you want to rush straight into getting your core item, which is going to be a Blink Dagger. Now, this massively helps you initiate, and it was a great escape item as well. As soon as you get your Blink Dagger, you should always get a Blade Mail. Now, once you've got those two, the other three situational items are really quite up to you. Sometimes people will go for a um, Shadow Blade to start a duel. But generally speaking, that's a mistake. It's They're easy enough to counter, and I can't see a reason why you wouldn't really want to use a Blink Dagger instead. Blink in, activate your Blade Mail, start a duel, and with a bit of luck, you'll start to pull ahead and win all those duels. The other two that are situational are Armlet and BKB. Armlet will give you extra stats, um, a massive attack boost. You know, all these things are really great, but you don't necessarily need it to pull ahead. It's just kind of more of an additional. And BKB, sometimes you might skip it in situations where you're doing so well and your enemy isn't really locking you down. So here we've got a, a duel straight away, death, and the armlet really helps maximize the attack speed there. But the BKB, the reason why you might skip it initially, although if it goes to ultra late game you won't, is because your enemies aren't particularly good at locking you down or stunning you. That will of course change and you will need a BKB. But sometimes, if you're really lucky and they're, you're doing really well, sometimes you can wait. Extension items all revolve around increasing Legion Commander's attack speed. So anything with a Hyperstone in is going to be a winner. All these items obviously work very, very well with her other abilities anyway. Uh, and so anything that increases her hugely increased attack from all the jewels you've been winning is going to be a win. And that's what you want. You want it to hit as many times as possible as quickly as possible. The situation R items are really the three probably worth mentioning. If you need extra tank, a Satanic is usually always better than a Heart because obviously you get the massive life gain as well as the stats. MKB if you've got an Invasion Hero uh, and Halbard and of course Abyssal Blade are good for interrupting and locking down heroes that are tanking difficult to deal with. Um, and so we see here we've got a Wind Ranger who instantly dies thanks to an MKB. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and share it. If you'd like more videos of the same content or maybe something a bit different, please follow the video links below.